All right, if you got kids, you might not want to show them this one. Top of the morning, friends and family. What's going on today? Ah, oh, lots of good stuff happened today, actually. Remember, if you watched yesterday's video, then you know, yeah. <laughs> then we're planning for some of that to be happening. The rest of the band's not here yet. Well, I don't know if the rest of the band's actually gonna show up. It's gonna, Ryan, what are you gonna do if Keith never shows up? Oh, they're gonna show up. <laughs> okay, well, he says they're gonna show up. We'll, we'll see if that remains. But, also today, I, I need to ship out a couple of snakes. So I was gonna, there's a couple of tricks that I learned, giving the snakes a higher chance of making it based on just physics. And uh, I'm gonna share that with you as well. We were gonna sing you guys like one of the older songs on the back porch, but due to the fact that we don't know the volatility of, volatility, due to the fact that we don't know the possibility of everybody actually showing up on time, Ryan, Ryan, Whoa, buddy. Ryan has some amazing song. Oh, please don't tell me I had the volume up too loud this whole time, no. Ryan has some amazing songs that are unreleased. He's been singing them. You can't just be sharing. There's a, there's a couple like the, the choruses are amazing. Like they're really, really good songs. I just wanted you to hear a couple snippets of the choruses. If he's willing to share them, I think I can talk him into sharing them. They're they're freaking sweet, dude. I'd rather put the link down so you can hear the old stuff and on your own time and and put these gems here on the video so you can hear them because they're really. We'll jam really... some stuff with the band too, though. They're gonna make it on time. We're gonna play a song with the band. <laughs> You're gonna hear Brian jamming. <laughs> we'll see. All right, if you got kids, you might not want to show them this one because it's a true story. <laughs> You got somewhere to go, but your mom won't let you. There's a party going on, but your dad's a square. Everybody knows nine o'clock's my curfew. But the party don't start till we get there. Speak out! Speak out! Down through the bedroom window, or right out through the front door. Speak out! Speak out! Telephone rang yesterday. It was an old friend. Got himself in trouble around the bend. Asked if I had a few dollars that I could lend. Oh, and I knew I'd never see that money again. <laughs> never see that money again. Never see that money again One thing I knew for sure right there and then When you told me about your troubles And how they never seemed to end I knew I'd never see that money again Hit the cards one more time Never see that money again Never see that money again one thing I knew for sure right there and then When you told me about your troubles And how they never seemed to end I knew I'd never see that money again <laughs> that's, that's great, dude. Alright, that's, 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 that's nothing like what we're gonna do as a band tonight. And that's why it's so freaking awesome! All right, the snake shipping hack. So this is everything you basically need. I mean, the snake, obviously, is a huge part. Snake bag, all the styrofoam for insulating the box, the box itself, we got some tape, we got a drill, we got a little piece of screen, sticker from Ship of Reptiles put on the outside of the box, the piece of paper that you want to be the first thing on top when they open up the box to see if, in case, like, you know, the federal government inspects it or some kind of fishing game inspects it. You need this on top. You can print this off shipyourreptiles.com as well as all the information that you might want about shipping reptiles. All the information, the pertinent information is on there. The resources on that site are unfathomable. They're, they're incredible. I'm not going to go over every single little tiny detail of what I do to ship a snake. Uh, there's another video I made about that. I'll link it right here. But mainly this little tip. I saw off the first time at Prehistoric Pets. Then my buddy Garrett reminded me of it and showed me the second part of the tip that I'm going to show you as well. So from Mr. Jerry Robertson, I learned to use this uh, polyville, it's like a pillow fill stuffing. It's really soft. It also helps, helps keep insulation. Um, so yeah, but again, not going to go over too many details here, just a little tip. Um, put the snake away while we get the box ready. 
worst part for me. I hate styrofoam. Ugh. Ugh. Tried headphones, nothing works, man. It just, I just deal with it. Someday I'm gonna hire somebody to slide this styrofoam in here for me. I should be making the kids do this. I don't know what's wrong with me. Ugh. Makes my skin crawl. Okay, it's almost over. One of the first things Shifter Reptiles recommends is that you punch holes in the side of the box with a quarter inch diameter screwdriver for a little ventilation. And the one thing that uh, Garrett pointed out in his years and years of experience shipping snakes all across the world is that the number one for the cause of DOA is not temperature, not being too cold or maybe being too hot could be a thing, but even more than that was ventilation, lack of proper airflow. Even when you poke all four of these holes on the side of the box, if they get stacked all next to other boxes and it's all next to each other, that's all blocked on all four sides and it's not getting very good ventilation. So you wanna add a fifth ventilation hole right up at the top. And that's where the drill comes into play. So you've got the styrofoam, you've got the box packed like it's gonna be packed, just the styrofoam and the box. And then you're gonna take your 7 8 hole saw or whatever size works and makes appropriate for your box. But this is a 7 8 hole saw on this drill here. And I'm just gonna drill a hole right through the box and the styrofoam. Obviously you're gonna to wanna to clean that out of the box. There, now you got a nice hole right in the top of your box, right through the styrofoam and the box. And now the issue here is if the snake happens to get out of the bag, which if you pack it right in the bag, it shouldn't. What I like to do is actually put, fold this over, tie it, put two zip ties on top. Chances of the snake getting out after that are pretty slim. However, if it does happen to get out of the box, you don't want there to be this gaping hole where it could potentially crawl out of. So, so that's where this little piece of screen comes into play. This is just a piece of screen cut out of like a screen door screen, you know, you can get this stuff anywhere, it's real cheap. So I take that and put it on one of the inside flaps. You can put it, you can put it up here, you can put it to the top of here, wherever you think it's gonna look better. I like, to, I like to put it right here underneath here and just tape it on there. So there it is, taped on there just like so. And when you close the box, it looks nice and clean. Just a nice little piece of screen hole right there, all screened off. So if the snake happens to get out and random chance it happens to get out, then it's well secured and it looks nice too. Got extra ventilation. It's a win, it's a big win. This is something I learned from Garrett also. If you take a piece of paper towel, fold it up and put it outside the bag, if the snake happens to pee in transit or poop in transit, the moisture will get sucked out of the bag because of you know osmosis and whatnot. So, instead of putting it inside the bag, which I used to do, now I put the paper towel on the outside of the bag, underneath it, in case the snake has a little accident, then it, it helps soak it and pull it out of the bag so it's not all stuck on the snake as much as possible. Ideally, your snake just defecated or relieved himself, which, lucky for you, Josh, who's my buddy who's getting this snake, this snake just had a fresh shed and just peed and urated, so it should be nice and clean when it gets to you, hopefully. A little thing I picked up from the late, great Ben Rennick, custom, packing tape. Makes it look real nice. And a little trick we learned from our friends over at Louis Vuitton, we never cut our logo. We cut in between so the logo itself doesn't get cut. Yep, just like that. And we stick the beautiful snake into the beautiful bag, also with a little custom triple B, just for a little nice extra touch. Zip that up. And honestly, I don't even usually tie it because it just adds an extra step for whoever's opening it. You just fold the top over, apply one zip tie, apply a second zip tie just for good measure. And for any of you that pack your snakes like this, or anybody that picks up somebody that folds over the top like this and puts either rubber bands or zip ties on top, all you gotta do is grab the loose end of the bag and pull, and these things will pop right off. You don't have to do any cutting with them. You don't waste your time doing that, because you just pop, pop it right off. It's good to go. I'm not gonna do it because I don't have to re-zip tie it, but it is pretty cool and pappy. So I got the paper towel in there with my little bit of fluff. Make sure the snake's nice and comfy. Put some more padding on top. Put your styrofoam piece in. I like to let, write a little uh, happy note here, a little love note for whoever's getting the snake. Seal that sucker up, put the proper stickers on it, and then you, you off to the races. Dear Josh, I love you. Watch vlog, and this will make perfect sense. Thank you, Josh, for picking up this snake, man. Uh, she's gorgeous. I'm sure you're gonna love her, and I'm, I'm glad she's going to a good home. Thanks again, man. Josh, when it looks like somebody opened your snake back up, that was me. I forgot to put in this little piece of paper that I said was very important to put in on the top. So there it is. I don't think it'll ever get non-stressful shipping a snake. It's always just the most stressful part of this whole ordeal. Just relax. Everything's gonna be just fine.
know it only seemed like uh, like four or five seconds, <laughs> but it's actually about an hour round trip for me to get to this local hub, but I just prefer it. I don't want the snakes to ever go on a truck. If you've gotten a snake from me before, you know that I, I ask you to uh, go pick up at your hub, just so I feel like when the snakes get onto the delivery truck on the ground, that's like when all the issues happen. So I just like to avoid those if at all possible. I, you know, no issues like not having the autofocus turned on for the little beginning of this little clip segment here. So anyway, it's about an hour round trip. I want to go back and see if the boys learned anything from Uncle Ryan in that hour. We'll see, let's go. What do you know? Can we do this another day? Huh? Just kidding. I know. Dinosaurs. What about dinosaurs? That the king is T-Rex, and then he literally mean in terrifying lizard, and. I have a ton of them. Eli, you're not playing. I feel like you. I feel like you're distracted. We, you've told us this so many times already, but you know, I thought Uncle Ryan might teach you something new, but clearly Uncle Ryan didn't teach you anything about how to fall asleep on the couch. Hey, hey Eli. What? What do you know? I know. No time for that. Okay. Hey, Mushy. What do you know? Everybody's just lazy in this house. I'm the one buzzing my butt around here. I'm going. I'm going home. I'm going to the bathroom. Let me say what are my thoughts. Thoughts on the toilet with Cusco. I told that guy that these guys aren't gonna get here yet. They're still not here. The rest of the, the, these guys. The show is like coming right up, and and these guys aren't even here yet. So at least you got to hear Ryan's songs. Uh, I'm gonna go see what he thinks about it all. I'm wake his butt up. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, bro. I told you these guys ain't coming. I told you it's not happening. We're just gonna sit here. And... I thought they'd be here by now. I know you did. But they're not here yet. Yep. They're gonna show up though. Uh... We're gonna play some jams. It's gonna be brilliant. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. We got the jams covered this morning. It's good to go. What I I've If I ever lose my faith. I'm gonna turn the whole thing out. Sorry, Leia is sorry folks. Leia is messing with the camera twice. Hard work. Hard work. And now Eli's messing with the camera. I need to take care of both of those two. Look, this has got a fire hydrant for the dogs to pee on in the little mini dog park here. Why am I on a slant? Whoa! Whoa! So I got, I got kind of a big announcement. 